What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at one of the latest photos from Curiosity Rover. And what you're going to find is, again, are these really mountains or are they something much different? Something intelligently made, perhaps. I'm going to show you both the low res and the high res for a reason. One of them is by Neville Thompson. Thank you again, Neville Thompson, for your work which is a gigapan and he uses the PDS, which is the sharpest photos you can get. Although I call them the finished product, which means it's been really doctored up compared to the actual uh, low res original photo, right? You'll see what I'm talking about because there's a couple little pieces on the very left hand side of the photo that I'm really interested in, okay? All right, so let's just jump right into it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's the low res photo. You can see it right here, okay? Now, the thing of interest or the things of interest, are right here on the very left-hand side. You can see these objects, they seem to be all lined up. See that? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's hard to tell what these things really are. Once we enhance this, it's gonna leave no doubt in your mind that these are intelligently made and what look like actual structures or something mechanical. Either way, it's not natural. Now here's the high-res PDS which Neville Thompson has put together. And you can see it's from the photos from the MSL, 3421 to 3424. We'll expand the screen, let it settle. Folks, I don't have to do a thing to this photo. What are we looking at right here in the middle of this screen? That to me does not look natural. And it looks like some kind of ancient structure or something else that's non-natural, right? You can see objects like this right here. This white piece, kind of cool little shape there, white, right hand side of the screen. And this all here was draped over this, I don't know, by CGI or whatever it may be. But there's two what looks like units right here. There's one here, and you can see right here there's another one underneath this whiter manipulation or censoring, right? Here, on the very left, has this shape, this piece right here. These pieces are lighter in color right here and down here. But because it's all this orangey, reddish color, call it what you will, it's hard to see the difference in colors of certain objects, right? Okay, without further ado, let's just jump right into Photoshop, and I'm going to show you this thing. This is neat. All right, here's the low res. I'm going to zoom right into this. We can try to get some of that out of there right there. But you can see these objects literally right here. Okay. And just look at some of the weird shapes and stuff like that in here. Although they do differ from the high def. And you'll see that in a moment, right? This right here. Now in the high res, you don't see all of these. You see right up to about right here, this one, and the one here to the right. That's all you pretty much see. So let's check it out. You can see maybe two or three of these items. Now, let's get rid of this color off of it. Get more of a natural color. You can see that right there, it's more brilliant, brings it out. Let's have a look. Folks, what, what are we looking at? Look at this. You can see it's lighter like a white color, almost like these are designed somehow. Although they pretty much join, you can see it's like, it's hard to tell whether they actually join or not, but you can see a space between this one, okay? This right here on the left, We've got something hanging down like this, going like this. Looks like it has a darker piece there. But folks, have a look at this stuff on the right. Check this out. This item like I showed you earlier. All of this stuff in here. Once we bring all of this out, you'll see something right here. You can see it right here. Going down like this. Connects to this white piece right here, but look at this. This is all one piece here. You've got this kind of weird outline shape. This one right here. Folks, there's much, much more in this photo. Much more. All right, let's back out. Let me show it to you. Let's go right to the finished color enhancement. Folks, check this out. Look at these items. 
Now again, I can go back to the original color, right? Bring it out. Nothing's added. It's the same thing. Notice the curvature of this piece. You don't really see it right like this, but right here, at this very corner of this piece right there, you can see this piece literally goes up like this. That is not natural. Okay? Look again. It's hard to see, but right there in that corner. Seriously, folks, that's not natural. Also, notice the what looks like brick type stuff here inside here. See that? Not sure what to make it is. It looks like it's been added here, but it does have this kind of weird arch over that. See that? So I'm not sure what to make of all of this stuff here. Now, this may be all part of this junk pile laying there. And all they do is just put this different color on it to try to throw your eyes off because you might have something that's in this part and part of it is in this part. So therefore, you can't make out one solid large object, right? Again, here, I'll go back and forth. Folks, look at anything in this photo and it is absolutely there. Get rid of the nasty color. Bring up the brighter areas. Use a little burn on the edge. Like I said earlier, these what look like kind of weird design or brick or something like that. Bring that out better. You can still see it right in the original. Now, let's back up and we're going to black and white. Not only is it black and white, but I'm going to show you more objects down here on this area here. Okay, black and white it. Folks, look at this stuff here. This is what I was telling you about these parts like here, this right here, this piece. Folks, seriously, look at this. Are we really looking at just rock and stones and that's pretty much it? I don't think so. I'm not sure what to make of all this stuff at the top here because it seems like it's a different color when you do this. Bring in black and white. We can get rid of all of that different color. Although I like the color, we can get rid of that so it doesn't kind of fool the eyes. Let's just back out a little bit. Folks, I'm seeing a junk pile along with what looks like structures or some kind of intelligently made objects. I'll go color, then black and white. Check it out. Go back to the original raw. Black and white. Bring out as much as we can in this photo. Pop it out. Back to the color. See this? And again, if we go back to this here, we can see these other objects. And this is what we're looking at here on the right hand side. It goes, like I said, this one. Looks like we can see right up to about this one. Looks like there's maybe three pieces. If you look at it right here, you can see this. I'm not sure if this is, counts as one here, one here, one here, and one here. I'm not sure. Well, this is all one part right here, and this is in the front, and this piece here is in the back. I'm not sure. See that? Go back to this one again. We're seeing about three or four of these pieces, like right here in a row. And that's pretty much it. That's all we're seeing. But there's a line of these things, whatever they may be. Of course, this is completely distorted. I'm trying to bring this out better. But it's hard to do that when you get this grid on there, but you get the idea. And even in this photo here, you can see what looks like these weird pots and shapes and stuff like that. And of course, you can still see this whited area here. All right. Right there, going like this, coming up like that. You've got this area right here going like this. Not sure what to make of that. Folks, you got to ask what these things are. Okay. Back out of it like this here. Back to this just to try to try to clear it up. Try to get rid of some of that grid. But you can see that, right? All right, folks, get out your magnifiers. Check this out. We're going to go the raw photo. Enhanced color. And then we're going to do enhanced black and white. 
Here you are right here. Like I said, pause it anywhere. Here's your full color photo. Again, look at everything underneath of this whited or tan area right here. And not to mention the major things are right here. Okay. Black and white. And again, all of the stuff down here we want to look at. Right down there, as well as our main features right here again. And all the little things that are coming down right here. Have a look at that. There you go, folks. Folks, as usual, these mountains are not mountains. Now, again, I always ask the question, is it possible they built into the mountains and we're just seeing the fascia, so to speak, of these objects? Now, the lines I see in the photo all over these hills. Now, you can see patchwork where they've covered up certain objects in this whole mountainous area. I don't believe this mountain is a mountain at all. I don't believe anything that they show us as far as mountain wise or buttes or whatever they want to call them. They're not actual mountains. There's something much, much different. And when you look at those things, I think you'll agree because there's some things in there that just don't make any sense. I see people pointing out these what look like funky looking rocks and nothing more. Yet they totally skip over things like that, which to me scream intelligently made. Are they structures? Are they pots of structures? Are they mechanical in some way? I don't know. But to me, not natural, completely artificial, intelligently made, in my personal opinion. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what you've got to say. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, more cool things coming up. Moon, Mars, stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.